This would be the Pell and Gregory classification system. And this one uses numbers and letters, basically one through three and A through C, to describe the position of a third molar. Now when we're looking at the lowers using this classification, they would give a one to a tooth that is anterior to the ramus, a two to a tooth that's partly in the ramus, and a three would be a tooth that's completely in the ramus. Now the A teeth would be basically level with the occlusion of the lower second molar, a B would be between the occlusion and the CEJ of that lower second molar, and then a C of course would be beneath the CEJ. Now I have to tell you, if you're maybe new to taking teeth out and you're thinking you might start taking some third molars out, or maybe in the future it's a goal of yours to work towards being able to do these extractions, you have to be acutely aware that these classification systems are just guidelines. So these are not hard and fast rules that a 1A is gonna be easier than a 2B. In fact, a lot of times I'd rather take out a 2B than a 1A. And let me illustrate my point. Let's say you're uh, sitting there in your, pra in your operatory and in comes your next patient. They need an extraction of a lower third molar. It is a 65 year old male. He is uh, a bruxer. He's got these giant masseters, a big square jaw. He's six foot four, 230 pounds. You take a radiograph of that tooth and it's got an accessory root. It's got dense bone around it, no visible PDL space. It's been in function now for about 47 years and there's a short clinical crown due to the heavy function that he puts on that tooth. He's a gagger and he can't open. Now, I could go on and on, but you get the point, I think. So what I'm trying to say is a 1A could be one of the most difficult extractions you ever do in your lifetime, and a 2B could be some of the easier ones because those teeth could be in a very young patient, like 18 years, 18 years old, totally healthy, tooth's never been in function, big follicle space around it yet, incomplete root development, a lot of favorable things in those situations that would make it easier. So just be aware of that. Thank you.